अभी आप सब एक एडवांटेज कंपटीशन में जाओगे द क्यूबेली ब्रेक यू विल बी स्प्लिट इन टू टीम्स हु एवर विन्स दिस कंपटीशन विल गेट अ सिग्निफिकेंट एडवांटेज गोइंग फॉरवर्ड वाई टीम कंग्रेचुलेशन कमिंग अप नेक्स्ट is called an elimination challenge we want to see how quickly you can make your legacy drink this challenge here is about speed you started just a little bit slow tonight only two of you are going home krishna and chong sadly this wonderful adventure has come to an end for the two of you i was not expecting krishna and chong to get eliminated but i was in the bottom four with them so i wanted them to get eliminated not me Okay, I didn't make it this year, but next year I'm definitely coming back on. I was I was really unhappy about it. Morning boys. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Great, Nikhil. Nice to see you. How are you? So how's it been going? Are you guys settled in? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were just yeah. waiting for the next surprise to pop up. <laughs> yeah. So you guys actually haven't had too much time to get out in Goa, have you? Uh, no, 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 no. Completely focused on the competition. Yeah, yeah. Yes. exactly, <laughs> exactly. Okay. So no, I'll tell you what. You know that being Indian, cuisine, food is a huge part of our culture. Yeah. You make people feel loved yes. by offering them food. So here's what we're going to do today. This is going to be an interesting competition for all of you. What we'd like to do now is test your knowledge. How well do you know not just your drink but the ingredients in your drink? And if you know the ingredients in your drink, how well do those ingredients pair up with other ingredients that are in food? So here's what I'd like you to do today. I'd like for you to leave the legacy home and go out and explore a little bit of Goa. See what food is available. Speak to a few people. Speak to a few chefs, and see if you can come up with a perfect pairing for your legacy drink. And वो जैसे हमने सुना तो मेरे दिमाग में तो मैं तो गुंजन ही हो गया. मतलब मेरे दिमाग में तो कुछ आया नहीं. आजकल जो customers हैं hospitality में food lovers हैं उनको अच्छा लगता है pairing. So it's a trend now. So it's going to be a day of exploration for you. It's going to be a day of discovery. Okay. I'll see you later in the evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Ooh. Got to end with Perry. Go go. Amazing time like roaming the streets of Goa and exploring the places and stuff it was like crazy. The great fun was to admire the beauty around. Beautiful houses, their antique, the authenticity of Goan culture, very well, you know. When we all were roaming around and we found uh, House of Lords was just welcoming us. I said, "Wow, let's go to this one, House of Lords." I got some. Basic ingredient of mine. It's just basic uh, ingredient is like kalangal and basil syrup. Okay. It's very refreshing taste. Yeah, yeah. Very light. Oh, I think this 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 will go with something very light. Light. Yeah. Maybe with white meat. White Not meat or really seafood with... or something. Yeah. Those that are there and the ingredients elements are uh, pineapple, basil. Herb liqueur, <coughs> then is your honey liqueur, right. Bacardi, lime and sugar. So it's very kind of fresh, fruity drink. I think this drink will definitely go with red meat. Red meat. Yeah, okay. something like a steak or because flavors of herbs like rosemary, thyme mm -hmm. go really well with a steak. steak yeah. So I think this will go really well with red meat. Red meat. Once we got the feedback, we were not really satisfied with what we were doing. and our thirst for knowledge was not fine so we moved on to the next restaurant the 
Uh, the owner was right there and wow man, it was uh, great to meet you, you know. My drink is white rum. There is a herbal, herbal liqueur. So I'm looking for a kind of a summery food which could rather complement my drink. I would suggest like a pomfret, a pomfret fish. Pomfret yeah. fish, yes. With probably stuffed with Richardo masala. Richardo masala. That would be, I would offer your drink and the Richardo. If it was left to me, I think I'd have a good time. I have option choose hai, pomfret uh, rachado with uh, goan spices. You want to do something rich and Indian? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. Something like uh, buna goat. It'll have a rich texture to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which would probably contrast very well with your drink. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, thank you. We have been markets, we have been markets. Mein bhi and we started shopping. I wanted to buy something which is uh, good with uh, my cocktail. Goa is going to beach on the fun. Go play with the water, refresh yourself, be yourself. It was great fun. We all went on the beach and we started playing and we also tried to throw a few people inside the water. Good evening. Hi. My name is Navneet. I'm Alex Gabo. And uh, I'm just looking for some uh, food which can accompany my drink. Mm -hmm. My drink is basically a um, herbal flavored aperitif. Okay. And I want to serve... A herbal flavored meaning what herbs do you use? I'm thing? using sage, I'm okay. using herb liqueur and okay. I'm using white rubber. Okay. So maybe can we do a seafood salad with the smoked salmon on the side? Definitely, I recommend that this is a very good idea to add Caesar salad with some smoked salmon hint or maybe some other fish to pair up with the drink. So, you want something that's more cleansing? More cleansing, cleansing. yes. Yeah. yeah. I chose a steak, a medium rare steak with some peppercorn sauce and grilled veggies on side. That was my dish because my drink has spicy and herby notes. What do you recommend for me? I would suggest since your dish is light, as okay. you say, refreshing. Exactly. Maybe something heavier on the palate would be nice. Exactly. Yeah? Exactly. So I would suggest um, pork chop. You could do a pork chop. Yeah, it's a good yeah. one. Even yeah. I was thinking of the same. Yeah. That'll be great. Mmm, it's good, huh? It's good. Here comes our contestants. Ah! Hey guys. Hi. Hi. Good, evening. Good evening. Good evening. Morning, we were talking about how you guys haven't had the opportunity to get out and see anything in Goa, and there's so many fantastic restaurants now in Goa at the meet. But today, you have the opportunity to do that. Yeah. How was your day? Lovely. Oh, lovely. Fantastic. Lovely. So it's been a great day for everyone then. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Guys, today you won't just have two people judging your food pairing. This competition of food pairing will be judged by three judges. Joining us today is someone who's an exceptional chef. He's got a wealth of culinary experience. He's worked in different markets, including international and here in India. And he's also closely associated with Olive Bar and Kitchen. I was literally, I said, really? Man, he's just big, he's just legend. I'd like you to welcome. You saw Karpachi. that smoke. Karpachi, the, because we have not got the smoke. You saw it smoke. Why pick that particular preparation? I wanted to have some tanginess from the tamarind, whereas I have a bitterness in my drink. Unfortunately, in this particular preparation, the cinnamon is very prominent. Guru, the drink is just not cold enough. I'm going to call out three names. These three bartenders are in our bottom three. Hi. 
I'd like you to welcome Chef Manu Chandra. Pairing essentially for professionals like us is when a beverage and food can be seamlessly had together without one compromising the integrity of the other. If one becomes the star and the other starts lagging behind, you have an unsuccessful pairing. What we're looking at is whether these contestants can actually think their beverages through and be able to pair it successfully with the food items that they picked. Chef, I have a question for you. Yeah. In all of your bars and restaurants, where do you tell your bartenders how to approach food and pairing? I'm always of the belief that a bartender is not only someone who makes drinks, he's also a very good salesman. Because they not only suggest drinks, they also suggest food that goes well with it. And that's what, uh, you know, we as chefs or employers is essentially what we look for. Well, gentlemen, there's loads of experience that's going to be looking at what you've done today with your food pairing. So, no pressure. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> We're going to be starting today with Roshan. You'll be our first one up. The rest of you, you can step outside. We'll see you one at a time. Hi, good evening, Demi, Mr. Manu, and uh, Mr. Nikhil. I'll present you my drink as well as my food. definitely in the right direction and he understands the composition of this, of his drink, yeah. the composition of that, you know, and he's trying to blend them together, mm -hmm. you see? So I think that the direction is definitely done well here. Yeah. I prepared my cocktail, I served it, and uh, the food was uh, given to me to place. The so first thing was I became blank because the food that I had asked for was something else and it turned out to be something else. And uh, because I had asked for a steak, the steak was there. I had asked for pepper sauce and instead it was some kind of a mash that came along with a peppercorn potato mash. And uh, I was pretty much upset because I knew that it won't go with my drink because my drink had pineapple, it had uh, herb liqueurs and uh, spice liqueurs, so I did not think it will match. Did you taste this before you paired it? Yes, actually I tried it in my bar mm -hmm. where uh, we serve steaks. And uh, it, it's served with peppercorn, two peppercorns, and uh, that is pink and your uh, green peppercorn. And uh, so it really goes well along with my drink because uh, I tasted it and it really goes along. Thank you. I hope so, the combination was good, but according to me, when I have tasted steak along with the drink that I've served, it pretty much marries together. So, I hope so, they like it. When I took the task, I knew that it was okay. I didn't have to do much explain to drink. When the drink will go on the judges' table, food will come together, and then we have to explain everything. So, I was cool at making my drink. I was making a lot of peace. I took my own good time so that I could do the things well. Because the judges are focusing on the same thing that we cannot play with the consistency and flavor of the drink. That has to remain constant throughout. And that's going to be the key role. Thank you. There was, I think, a little bit of confusion between me and my chef. Caesar salad with smoked salmon na aake, Caesar salad alag se aaya aur ek smoked salmon as a main course on a bed of uh, sauteed vegetables alag se aaya. So why is the smoked salmon? So this has been smoked because I have instructed them to prepare it with the Caesar salad. Smoked salmon in that. Actually the carpaccio. Carpaccio the, because we have not got the chance Are to Are you sure it's smoked? No sir, I am not. Uh, then taste it and see if it's smoked or not. Hold on. I mean, but the smoke is going to add a completely different flavor dimension to everything. Mm -hmm. Pura blank out ho gaya main. Mujhe pata hi nahi ki kya dish hai. Jab tak main dish taste nahi karunga, how would I say ki ha iski pairing kaise karunga uske sath? Itni research karne ke baad research karke rat ke yahan rakha hua tha maine. Puri calculation ki thi ek ek cheez ki kitna protein, kitna carbohydrate, kitna kya jata hai. उसके बाद अगर एक 100 ग्राम का फिले आ रहा है मेरे सामने जो कि मुझे ये भी पता नहीं स्मोक डुआ नहीं हुआ तो आई कैन्ट हेल्प इट 
Why pick that particular preparation? I wanted to have some tanginess from the tamarind, which goes into the stuffing of, uh, of the pomfret fish. Uh, whereas I have a bitterness in my drink. Unfortunately, in this particular preparation, the cinnamon is very prominent. Guru, the drink is just not cold enough. I'm going to call out three names. These three bartenders are in our bottom seat. He's got that smile on his face like, I have a surprise coming. <laughs> <laughs> See how the how he perceives the the cream part of his cocktail. What are the ingredients in your cocktail again? It's got uh, white rum, gold rum. It's got caramel syrup, it's got uh, fresh cream, it's got uh, orange juice, egg white. The sense of smell and, and use it to its advantage is fantastic. And it's pairing with food here is relying on a combination of the two. Yes. Why pick that particular preparation? Uh, well, Classically, it has a tendency of being bolder, big on the palate, and spicier. I wanted to have some tanginess from the tamarind, which goes into the stuffing of, uh, of the pomfret fish, uh, whereas I have a bitterness in my drink. Unfortunately, in this particular preparation, the cinnamon is very prominent. Hello, good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, Guru. Nice to meet you. Hello there. Good evening. I have to pour in a little bit more here. As I can see, somebody is getting lucky here. I'm just focusing on to be a good host. When we talk about the drink, Jimmy, if I can just step in there for a second, because I know that this is something that's been bothering both of us for a while. Guru, the drink is just not cold enough. We just feel that the, the I'll call it the serving temperature. We just feel that the serving temperature could be a little bit cooler, a little colder. I learned it. Itna din mujhe nahi laga tha main jaane wala hoon. Aaj 50 50 ka chance hai. Gentlemen, yes, get rid of those nervous looks in your faces. <laughs> There's only this simple matter of a ticket to Australia at stake. Chef. How was your experience? Clearly, this wasn't an easy task. All right. right. Uh, there were some really, really interesting combinations, and that there was a whole bunch that fell completely flat on their faces. Athena, you've said it very well. You see that this is an area that you guys really need to to to, to spend a little bit more focus on. You see, and again, what I will say is that you guys need to be consistent with the quality of your drink. Now, moving forward. I'm going to call out three names. These three bartenders are in our bottom three. Their guru. First name came on their mouth was Guru. I said, right. Chalo. I went and also had planned up what to do back going. Roger. What I did notice was that all three of you were spending so much time trying to theorize, trying to justify your actions, trying to make something which actually wasn't seem plausible. 
that even before it got to the table, it had fallen flat on its face. In other words, hawa mein mat bolo. Cut out the BS. And it makes you feel sick when you stand there from the rest of the lot, and it's the place that you don't want to be. I was pretty tense, like thinking what's going to be next. Right. From the bottom three, one of you will be going home. It's not happening tonight. Wow. Really? What next? Roshan, Navneet, or Anu, tomorrow a challenge will happen. जिसमें आप हिस्सा नहीं लोगे आप सीधे उसके आगे वाले चैलेंज में निकल जाओगे यू गेट दैट बेनिफिट बिकॉज यू आर द टॉप थ्री फ्रॉम टूडेज चैलेंज जो चैलेंज कल होगा रॉजर ब्रजेश एंड गुरु यू विल टेक पार्ट इन इट एंड वन पर्सन विल गो होम फ्रॉम दैट चैलेंज गाइज टमोरो इज एन अदर डे एंड फॉर वन ऑफ यू It will be your last day here in this competition. So try and get some sleep. Figure out what it is that you need to do, and let your talent shine through. Good night, everyone. Good night. 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 See you tomorrow. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your ice more interesting. Get some orange wedges, cinnamon stick. Get some water and leave that to infuse. Two hours later, when you have a beautiful orange and cinnamon flavor, lovely, just pour it into your ice tray. What I've added in the ice tray is actually star anise. All these flavors here they combine very well. When the water is going to freeze, you're going to have this beautifully scented cinnamon, orange, and star anise ice cube. Your drinks to the next level. Three of you are in our bottom three. One of you will be going home today. Today's challenge is mojito brunch. There's just one more thing. You're not just going to be preparing these mojitos for Timmy and me. We've arranged for a few more guests. India's topmost part in the day, who are judging you, are the ones who are up and down, and they would detect it like, as you know, it will happen. The difference between your drinks was very, very small. And it took us quite some time to decide who gets to stay in this competition and who sadly has to leave us today. <laughs> <laughs>